Acute infection in this disease may occur at any age, but it usually occurs in the early years of life and most frequently during the summer. The clinical picture in the acute phase includes general malaise, fever, profuse sweating, and loss of appetite. This seven-year-old boy shows generalized edema of the face. Three months before, he had a fever and edema of the eyelid for a few days, as seen in this patient. Frequently, there is enlargement of the lymph nodes and enlargement of the liver and spleen. In some cases, there is involvement of the central nervous system. Cardiac involvement of greater or lesser intensity probably occurs in almost every acute case. The clinical manifestations are compatible with myocarditis. In the majority of acute cases, serial x-ray examination reveals enlargement of the cardiac shadow. It is diffuse and may be moderate or pronounced. The form and the variations in size of the cardiac shadow suggest that pericardial effusion is often an important factor in the enlargement. Electrocardiograph readings indicate myocardial damage in about half of the cases. The most common abnormalities are prolongation of the PR interval and primary T wave changes. After the acute manifestation subsides, the patient remains infected, possibly for the rest of his life. The disease has a protracted course. After the acute stage, the patient enters an asymptomatic and inactive period, usually lasting from 10 to 20 years. During this time, there may be some enlargement of the liver and the lymph nodes, periods of slight fever, increased blood sedimentation, and moderate lymphocytosis. The chronic phase usually begins in the third decade of life. It is essentially a heart disease. Its manifestations depend upon the severity of the myocardial lesion, the presence of heart failure, and the type of arrhythmia. This 66-year-old man has not worked in 10 years. When he exerts himself, he has difficulty in breathing. In most cases, physical examination shows irregularities of cardiac rhythm, usually caused by premature ventricular contraction, or AV block, and signs of enlargement of the heart due mainly to dilatation. X-ray pictures of the chest show diffuse enlargement of the cardiac shadow, moderate to pronounced. Frequently, there is no evidence of pulmonary congestion. The V1 lead of the electrocardiogram shows a complete bundle branch block. This is the most frequent conduction disturbance in the chronic phase. In endemic areas, enlargement of the esophagus is found in many patients in the chronic stage of infection. also enlargement of the colon. The exact clinical relationship of these signs to the disease in question has not been established. Now, so you may make a diagnosis, we're going to pause for about 30 seconds. The correct diagnosis is American trypanosomiasis, commonly called Chagas disease, after Carlos Chagas, the Brazilian physician who first described it in 1909. The infectious agent is the trypanosoma cruzi, a hemoflagellate characterized by a large terminal 
or subterminal blepharoplasts. The carrier of this parasite, and therefore the source of infection, is the reduvid or cone-nosed bug. These bugs become infected when they ingest the parasite 